start with what I hope people will welcome uh, enthusiastically, which is we are very happy to report that we've resolved the issue of the eastern boundary with the city. And um, work on weeding has already begun, if anybody saw people out there today. I got a couple of emails. There was a oh, lot, a lot of work. And I think our whole horticultural staff was out there. A few of our authority staff was there, too. Um, what was resolved? Who owns it? We'll, we'll hold off until, we'll hold questions to the We have a maintenance agreement. Office. That's what was arranged. And um, we expect the meeting to conclude we're estimating within 10 days, at which time we'll be working on the beautification part of it. Behind the scenes, understand that there's also some infrastructure work that will have to be done, irrigation, leaky pipes, water fountains, you know, those kinds of things that aren't as attractive as beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. But I thought that it might make sense next month yep. uh, to have our horticulture people come and talk about plans for that area yep. because right now it's uh, well, so you just refresh the committee's memory about what area are you now taking over? Okay, so this is what um, is the strip of land that goes from Battery Place up to Wagner to the west of the West Side Highway. Okay, okay. Along, the edge, right? along the edge, right? Where, along the edge, where you know the weeds, you know, between yeah. Little West Street and West Street. No. Oh, okay. Now, now the ball, we'll um, the questions afterwards. The, um, what I want to say is in addition to that, we are going to be um, overseeing a contract for the maintenance of the medians on West Street. Mm -hmm. Because there's no egress or ingress mm -hmm. from Battery Park City, our staff is not going to maintain that, but we will oversee a contract of people to maintain that. What medians? You know, between the northbound and southbound lanes yeah, of West Street. From West Street so. uh, also from Battery Place up to Chambers. Okay. Oh, from Battery up to all the way up to Chambers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which is the same is as yeah. as the eastern boundary, actually. Fine. Although in front of Goldman Sachs, they yeah, don't they, they maintain there. their building. Brookfield does there, so it's the the missing areas. Okay. They're more obvious in the south than they are in the north, but near the ball fields, that area is uh, part of the eastern border. So and this will be we're a very happy. It's, um, and it was negotiated to be an agreement in place for two years, at which time it will be reviewed and reevaluated. The agreement is between what parties? The city and the president. So it took a long time. It took a lot of effort, and we're happy that the parties came together to do this. It's something we wanted to do. It's something we weren't authorized to do. Right. Now we're authorized to do it. So, okay. Good news. Thank you. Um, I wanted to introduce to you Craig Houdon, who some of you may know. Craig, if you want to come up. Uh, Craig is uh, one of the people who oversees programming in Battery Park City. And because our big season just started in uh, May. Mm -hmm. I thought it might be nice for him to share with you some of the things going on, some of the new things going on, and I mean, well, this, sure. yeah, I'm just that here. Yes, yeah, so as Robin said, uh, we provide the free public programs and events, almost exclusively free public programs and events within the parks of Battery Park City from May through October. So we're going into our second busy month of the season. Um, we do programs uh, based in play, art, theater, dance, music. Um, we have fishing programs, art district programs, um, and concerts and activities for all ages. Um, I want to talk uh, specifically about a couple new programs. We're very excited. Last Friday night we had our first Friday Night for Teen events. We're always trying to provide an opportunity for teens in Battery Park City. Now you can direct your attention to our newest member, Susan, who's a student Hi, Susan. at Stuyvesant. We'll have to have for this program. Yay. And, uh, exactly. And uh, we have another, our second teen Friday Night for Teen coming up this Saturday, um, Friday evening, sorry. And um, was this a rave up? 
I'm sorry? Was it a rave? No, it was not a rave. Um, uh, we're getting there, but no, not quite yet. Um, no, we, uh, we just provided a, a safe place for teens to hang out in the community. It's Six River Terrace, across from the Irish Hunter Memorial, across from the playground in Rockefeller Park. Um, and we had ping pong tables and giant chess boards and connect four games and we played movies and let kids play their own music and just have a, a nice place to, to be teens. And, um, and we got some feedback from them about changing some things for next week, so we're excited about that. So that's a nice new program. We had over 30 people on the first night, um, which was great. So um, it was a really nice, a nice evening and we're sure the word's gonna spread and then we'll have more. So we have four scheduled throughout the course of the season and I have a feeling we'll be doing more based on the popularity of it um, the first night. Um, the second new program that's new this year, um, we're doing a sunset yoga program in Wagner Park from 7 to 8.30. It's the most spectacular setting for a yoga class you can imagine. People are just, I mean, we've all been there a hundred times, but we, when you're there in the evening and, and, and just enjoying being, you know, the peaceful quietness of it, um, it's really a beautiful program. The response has been fantastic. We had over 20 people the first night of the program, first time ever, and now we're already up to 25:30, and it's been freezing cold and windy on Wednesday night. So uh, I think we're going to see more things coming. Um, Where is that again? It's in Seven Robert Wagner Jr. Park, so down um, the very southern end of Battery Park City, just uh, just next to Pier A, between Pier A and the Museum of Jewish Heritage. Um, and it's from 7 to 8:30. On oh, Wednesday night. On Wednesday evening. That's correct. Thank you. And all of this is available. Um, if you don't have one of our calendars, they look like this. I handed a few out before. There's we a few have more on the table. Yeah. Everything we do make for October. Also, um, www.ebcparks.org. You can always go there, check our website for updates on our programs. This weekend, we have two programs in Teardrop Park. Um, we have a storytelling program it's called Stories for All 